Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project sales management system. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I'm using is the PHP version 7. And the MySQL version is 5.6. For running this project, I'm using the Jam server. Or if you have the web server, then you can also configure and run this project on the web server. Also, you can use any type of PHP and Apache enabled server for running this project. Right, for front-end development, I'm using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like form validation, sliders, and for many more things, I have used the jQuery plugins. Right, so let's start with the functionality go through of the project, right? So the project title is Sales Management System. It's a mini web-based DBMS, PHP, and MySQL project. Mini project because it has only an only admin login. There is no user registration. There is no user login inside the system. There is only one type of rule that is the admin and admin can log inside the system, right? So let's start. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is the home page. This is the about the project. This is the about of the project and this is a static page. This is a login from where admin will be able to log in. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you can't log inside the system. This is a contact us and it's a static contact us page and I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Right. So the login, the user ID is admin and password is test. Once you log in inside the system, you will get this dashboard. Right. So here you can add the item. Right. So let me go through one by one. Right. So home already explained you about this already explained you. This is a dashboard. Right. This same menu is available here also. Right. You can go through the go on that page using this links or this links right just click on the add item once you click on the add item then you need to enter the barcode stock food name and type price per item and descriptions right so once you <coughs> sorry once you click on the add sales then you will get the dashboard from where you can start the sale here you need to enter the customer name so just i am hitting j and the mobile number once you click on the continue the billing right this bill number bill date customer name and customer mobile will automatically be published means right and here you need to select the items right you can see you can see the items are getting added inside the uh, cart automatically right even the price says are called calculating automatically right so right if you want to change the quantity just click on the items and you can see the cost is getting calculated automatically <coughs> right so you can see right so if you want to delete the item just click on the minus and after that you can delete the item right so there is a last save and print once you click on the save and print the whole page will details will be saved into database and you can access this later right so once you click on save the print you can see this is the J and the details of the cart. So this is the details of the cart. Once you click on the print, then uh, you will be able to print the things, right? So this is the add item already explained to you, add sales already explained to you. This is a report. This is item reports. All of the items which you have added into the database will be displayed here. If you want to search any of the item, just enter the name and after that, that items will be displayed here so you can see this is the Tata T and you can edit the items and you can update and delete it also right this is a sales report from where you can see the sales report right here you can so once you click on the view items so there is no items here right so here the last items which we sold to J. once you click on the view details you will be able to get the details of the uh, order right this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and once you update the account password you will be able to log inside the system with that updated password logout so once you log out the, from the system then all the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to log inside the system right with your old password right once you click on the logout you can see the session is destroyed and the above administration menu is not displaying right but if you log inside the system the above administration menu is displaying right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project sales management system and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make 
this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much